As the pandemic bit, British Airways looked to raise capital in any way possible. The chief executive at the time, Alex Cruz, noted that he sold everything he could, leasing back what he still needed and waving goodbye to many assets on a permanent basis. While it ensured the airline's survival in the short term, undoing these actions will be a long and difficult task. Going into the pandemic, there was a stark difference between the financial situations of the ultra-low-cost carriers and the full-service legacy airlines. The ULCC strategy of holding on to cash for a rainy day saw most of these airlines entering the crisis with impressively strong cash reserves. Legacy airlines, such as British Airways, were in a far more vulnerable position, with higher overheads and smaller bank balances. Speaking at Kappa Live in mid-July, Alex Cruz reflected on what had to be done during the pandemic to ensure the survival of the airline. What happened, particularly to the traditional carriers, is that they sold. In my case, I sold everything I could sell that I was not going to use. Buildings, art, everything that I could. And again, I sold a few things and leased them back, including buildings and aircraft. With this mindset, British Airways held flash sales over the course of 2020. In June, it was revealed that the airline would be selling off its collection of artwork from head offices and lounges. The airline's collection was auctioned off by Sotheby's in July last year. Later in 2020, the airline sold a range of cabin equipment formerly used on its Boeing 747s. And at the start of 2021, a pair of limited edition signed suitcases were sold for almost £9,000. With aircraft, May 2020 saw the airline mortgaging a total of 48 aircraft, raising a total of £750 million in the process. The airline currently has 68 of its 295 aircraft leased in, many of which will have acquired this status from being owned over the course of 2020. Cruz spoke on this, saying, I did quite a few sale and lease backs. It was what we had to do. We did not sell and lease back the whole fleet, or certainly before I left, that didn't happen. We still wanted to keep a few aircraft in our own books. It's one way to raise money, there's absolutely no doubt. And it was a no-brainer to immediately take a look at the collection of assets and which ones would make sense to monetize most in the short of term. While the former BA CEO appreciates the value that selling and leasing back assets had during the crisis, he notes that there is an eventual end of the road for this type of activity. I cannot neglect the value that doing those operations provided in raising cash to be able to make it through last year and earlier this year, but of course, you run out of those assets eventually. He further explained that for airlines like BA that originally had a balance between leased and owned aircraft, they would likely eventually want to return that balance to their operations. However, it might not be so easy to do. It's very difficult to undo this when you sign up new contracts that are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years long. There will be a desire to go back to the previous mixes, whichever those were for the different airlines. British Airways is not the only airline that has undertaken numerous sale and leaseback transactions as a means of capital raising during the pandemic. It's a trend that has highlighted the importance of lessers within the industry, but one which has also left many carriers with far fewer owned assets. What do you think of Alex Cruz's actions throughout 2020 to keep his airline afloat? Let us know your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.